Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy, and today we're gonna to be making over this little side table that I got for free. As you can see, it's not in the best condition. It's actually pretty beat up. I think we can still give it a fabulous makeover though. So let's flip it. I start by cleaning my piece, and today I'm using Crud Cutters Cleaner. This is a really great cleaner. It's so easy to use. I'm just scrubbing the whole piece down to make sure that there's no grease or oil. Then I take a wet rag with just water and I give it a once over just to make sure there's no cleaner residue left on my piece. And once it's dry, I take a sanding pad with pretty fine grit and I just wanna go over it and make sure that there's nothing sticking up. I'm just giving it a nice scuff sand. Then I take my plastic wood filler and I fill in any of those gouges and scratches. We want there to be a nice smooth surface before I add any paint. Once the wood filler is dry, I go back over it with my sanding pad and I sand everything nice and smooth. Now for the color, I'm using Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint in the color The Gulf. I flip the piece upside down and I, I work the spindles first. I wanna paint them. I'm gonna add two coats of the golf on this piece, but just to make sure that I've covered everything, it's easier to me for me when I have spindles to flip the piece upside down. I've gotten a few questions recently about Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint and why I use it a lot, and that is because it's one of my favorite paints with my water mister, I can get a really, really smooth finish and it's almost effortless. For the spindles, I use a round tip brush and then for the rest of it, I use the Dixie Bell mini brush. And I always get really nice coverage with that brush and with this paint. So it is definitely one of my favorites. Now I'm adding sea glass into the center of the tabletops. There are two of them. There's two tiers on this table. So I do wanna add sea glass into the middles and then it will blend out to the gulf. On my first coat, I just do a rough blend and then on the second one, I'll perfect it. These colors are so close together. One's a little bit lighter than the other. One's a little bit greener, one's bluer. Um, they're so close that you wouldn't be able to tell that much, but it does give it that little extra something special. So here's my second coat, and I'm adding the gulf on the outer edges first. Then I start at the center with sea glass, my second color, and I move outward. I don't really start blending until I have full coverage on the piece. Once I have that, then I can go and blend it out to the edges. For the soft blend I'm looking for in this piece, I'm going all the way to the edge with sea glass. I still want there to be a difference, but I just find it so beautiful when you don't know where one color ends and the other begins. Here, I'm taking a really soft, dry brush. This is actually, I think it's a fairly new brush, and I am just lightly going over it sort of blending it out even more, but my brush is not wet. It's important that the brush is dry because it just helps it to move it around. You can perfect your blend with this technique. Next, I'm gonna apply a redesign with Prima Transfer called Golden Damask that was designed by Katja. Katja is one of my most favorite furniture artists. I started watching her on YouTube when she first started a YouTube channel. Um, so to have her transfer, I'm just totally blown away. I'm so happy for her. What an amazing accomplishment. And this transfer is gorgeous. It is, if you like, you know, you like the gold and you like the damask, it's like so perfect. There are so many things that I can do with this transfer. 
I feel like I've been looking for this style for a really long time, so I'm so excited that this was the design she came up with. After I take the transfer off the backing paper, I stick it onto the tabletop just like a sticker. Then I'm using my razor to get rid of any of the excess of the transfer. I want to paint in that little ledge on this table. I also bought this little tool to apply the transfer, and this is my first time using it. Um, my honest opinion is I like the stick better. The stick that comes with the transfer, it's, I think it's just smaller, so I have an easier time using it. So I do end up switching and going back to the stick that came in the tube. I continue rubbing the transfer onto the tabletop. Once my transfer is applied to the tabletop, I use this little sanding pad just to smooth it out. I wanna make sure that none of the edges are coming up, that the transfer is completely on there, but I'm using a really light hand so that I don't sand off the actual transfer. Now I'm adding Posh Chalk pigments in pale gold to the trim on the table and to some of the details on the spindles. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that I was almost out of the Posh Chalk pigments. So I have a tiny bit and I use, um, I have the infuser. You just mix it together. But I added way too much infuser and not enough Posh Chalk pigments. So I did end up doing about one and a half coats and then I ordered some more. I ordered from a store on Etsy called Piglet's Closet and I've ordered from them before, it's in Wisconsin, and they shipped so fast, it only took a few days to get here and I was able to finish my project. So as you can see, it's, it's almost like transparent, and that's just because I didn't have enough of the Posh Chalk pigments to add to the infuser. So usually I do add about two coats of the Posh Chalk pigments, but this is coming on way lighter than normal anyway because I just didn't have enough. After a few days I can finish up my project because my shipment came in and this was the Posh Chalk Pigments from Piglet's Closet. And as you can see, I have the right mixture and it comes on really nice. So basically my second coat is just sort of touch-ups. Now to seal my piece, I'm using Dixie Belle's Clear Coat in Satin. And I'm gonna use my Home Right Super Finish Max HVLP Paint Sprayer. I love the finish that I get using the clear coat with the paint sprayer. It's just flawless and it comes out looking so professional. Here's a reminder of what it looked like before, and here it is today. It looks so different than when we started. I've actually had a few people not even recognize the table when they've seen it before. My first idea for this piece was to go neutral so I could sell it really quick, but the more I looked at it, the more I knew that this could be so much more, and I'm so glad I went for it because I think this piece is gorgeous. If you love a glamorous makeover, then check out this one right here, and I will see you next week with another furniture makeover.